Hi, everybody. It's Brittany. I am back, and we are in the Happy Home Paradise um, Design Network. And we're at my winter wonderland with Bianca and Blue Bear. Did I say Blue Beard or Blue Bear? Blue Bear? <laughs> my goodness. I like to think of this um, home within Judy's territory, like within her country's territory. So they're citizens of Judy's country. That's what I like to think of them both as. So this was originally Bianca's, and then later on Blue Bear came and joined. Why did I try to do that? Move me over here by the volcano because I want to make it erupt. Do a top down view so you can see it. And now, volcano. Yeah. And I'm going to move myself back so we can go inside. Excuse me, Blue Bear. So inside, I like to think of it as like a castle feel. Like if we're in like, I don't know, medieval, I don't know, Europe, somewhere, anywhere. You get the stone floors, wood furniture, a lot of log fires. Let's do a top-down view so I can also move myself over here past Bianca. So I also made a little outside patio space for them. They're nobles in Judy's country, so they have means. I mean, I'm not saying it's prime real estate, and I guess that's why you can tell they're so rich, because they made a place that could be just very miserable to live in, really comfortable and stylish. This is guest bedroom right here. And also the guest bathroom. You can have a hot bath by the freezing lake. Incredibly comfortable. It, it's awesome. I'm, I'm being completely um, honest there and real. She is in the dog bed. They trip me out when they do that. And of course, this is the kitchen. This is where the servants stay. <laughs> Let's go upstairs. So this is where they sleep. I like to think of them as like cousins, best friends. Maybe they're half-sisters. Like one of them's the secret love child. And they just grew up together and everybody's not quite cool with it, but they're cool with it because they're not the problem. And this is the living room space. This is the kitchen, again, for servants. Sometimes they go in there if they want to do a pet project. Bathroom. Again, big wooden bath space. Bedroom. Nice big bed. This 
Sometimes they share, sometimes they don't. Sometimes someone's in the guest bed. It's whatever. They have means. They do whatever they want. Anyway, that's this house. Let's go on to the next. So let's do my lucky lodgings. This is Drago and Ike. So Drago also used to be a Karama villager, but he left us. But I gave him a vacation home because I do enjoy him, even if he does have really like a ton of old man tendencies, a ton. So many old man jokes. I'm sorry, Drago. But anyway, this is, yeah, originally Drago's home, and then I came and stayed later as a roommate. I just kind of think of this because he wanted someplace lucky. So I, I put a lot of zen furniture in there or things that seem zen and like relaxing. But also like a bro space. You'll see. Let's do a top down view. All right. And now we're gonna go inside. Knock, knock. Okay, if we come in, oh, that's what I did. Okay, so originally this was the first house that I did, like a, the temple idea, and I liked it so much I wanted to do another one. So this space is the beginning space. This is the entrance. You can come here, put your umbrella, order some food, order some tokens, whatever. Come over here, sit down, eat. Do it as a family. Do it by yourself, whatever. And you can come over here, in here. And this is where you pray. There's a lot of gold offerings. So these are all the, you see I have a few religions set up in like my whole throughout my whole Animal Crossing universe. The religion in Karama, the cult, is not related to the religion here, nor is the religion um, practiced by Pudge and his wife. Oh my gosh, what is Chrissy? By Pudge and Chrissy, that's not um, related to any of the other religions. Each is their own separate religion. Now, if they came to Karama and wanted to stay, then they would have to be a part of the Karama cult. But right now, we are not accepting new members, so there you go. And you can do your offering over here. Nothing's polished in here. It looks like I did this before I had the polish option. We'll probably come, if we do come back through here, what's going to happen is I'm going to do a whole like makeover renovation with what, something different. It'll probably be within the same vein, but it will be completely different. So let's go upstairs. Did we do a top down? Let's do a top down. I can't remember if we did that yet. All right, so let's go upstairs. So this is where they sleep. This is, I kind of imagine this as like a temple boarding space. So it's like for monks.
there's no like vow of silence, but they do prefer you to be quiet here. Upstairs, I mean downstairs is more so for the public. Upstairs is more so for the serious people who actually live here, and that includes um, Drago and Ike. They do a lot of learning here and reading and meditating. You can see they look out into the mountains. Draco just wants to be at peace, and I get it. We'll do a top down view. Well, I must have lied. Because this stuff is polished. Why didn't I polish the other stuff? Laziness. So at some point, I will come back through here and renovate it. Okay. Let's move on. Marina's Underwater Palace. So, we have Marina and Cookie. <laughs> oh, adorable. Obviously, this is Marina's home first. And like it says, it's her underwater palace. I like to think of her as a princess. And so, she wanted a um, nice little transition space from the... Uh, upper world, the surface world, to the sea world, and so this is more like a port uh, for her to go to, relax a little bit, eat some fish. These are just things she likes to do. It's more on the practical side for her. Let's do a top-down view. Cookie's her best friend. Obviously, Cookie, she's a dog. She was born on the surface world. They met in college. And Cookie has come to visit um, her palace. And she's like, you know what? Can I stay? And Marina's like, no problem, girl. So now they're roommates. Let's go inside. So, again, this is a transition space. From here, this is like, imagine a bubble. You're still in the surface area, the surface world. But once you cross the barrier, then you've entered into the um, deep sea water world. So, think of this as like a, <laughs> kind of like an airport waiting area. You can have snacks waiting for the next transport to the water world, um, entertainment, seating, lockers, all of that. And then let's um, get a, a, a better look at the kitchen. Okay, and then you go to the other side, and now you're in the deep sea area, the deep sea water world. We're in the deep sea water world airport. Um, their country has a lot of money, so you can tell the difference from airport to airport. And this is what greets you when you come to their country. They're very high tech to have pulled this off. I can't push the princess, so let's do our top down view like this. And we'll go upstairs. 
And so once you're at the deep sea water world, at least for Marina, she wanted me to renovate her princess palace. So this is her princess palace. This is the kitchen where the servants stay. This is um, a side of clove, we'll get over there. But this is where if you come through, she greets you. Um, Marina would sit here and greet. I'm not going to sit down there. That would be completely disrespectful. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Um, this is where she would sit and greet you. And um, Cookie sits here. I can sit here. I'm allowed to sit here, okay, as a guest. But yeah, this is, <laughs> you see? Yeah, I know my place. But yeah, this is where uh, you would usually be greeted by Marina. And then if you come through here to the right, this isn't a clove. Um, her people believe, especially as royalty, she has to show off her wealth. So a lot of gold, lots and lots of gold, porcelain. I mean, you name it, it's there. They also wanted to show off that wealth also buys technology, so you can see within the walls the tech, because I, we're underwater, right? But I'm, Cookie and I are not underwater creatures, correct? So this tech allows us to not only move underwater as if we are on the surface world, but also to breathe underwater as if we're on the surface world. Brilliant technology. Again, the kitchen. She's a humble princess. This is the princess's private bedroom. She has a Pisces lamp. My most coveted prize that I may never get. Um, this is her bed here. And then Cookie sleeps in the shell bed. Of course, they have a um, fireplace for warmth. It can get a little chilly in the deep sea. You know, and bats. Always gotta stay clean. And of course, an underwater view. So that's their home. Do a top-down view. Let's turn around. There we go. Perfect. Let's do one more. An open-air cafe. Kitty and Ion. Now, Kitty used to be a roommate to another villager. I can't remember her name. I think she's in the desert vacation home. But Ion became Kitty's roommate. I do remember that. But yeah, I separated Kitty and that other roommate because I just found another roommate who fit with that um, desert roommate better. So then I made Kitty her own vacation home, and she seems to love it. And so does Ion. And so this is basically a party girl house. There you go. There's the bar and then a, a seating area. It's chill. Read magazines. Look at the scenery. What? What else do you need, you guys? What else do you need? Nothing. Top-down view. All right, let's go inside. Or is it Ione? I'm gonna keep calling her Ion. Is it Ione? Oh my gosh. Okay, so you step in here. Pink everywhere, hearts everywhere. Cute, 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 cute. We have the cute piano. We have the fun party area. 
We have plants. Because chicks love plants. Everything's designed to perfection. This is a guest room. And then the bathroom. Top down view. This house feels very much like um, MTV Cribs for me. The show off house. Let me move me over here. Let's go upstairs. And then up here, more. I want to say more of the same. Yes, it's aesthetically different, but it's still cool girl look. Ice queen. <laughs> Need a fireplace because it's freezing in here. <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> this is the bathroom. I love this sink because it looks expensive. And then you have the kitchen. And of course the stone bath right here. And a place to sit and enjoy it. Feel some heat. All right. That's it for this video, you guys. Thanks for joining me <laughs> on my many, many adventures. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.